What's up, Shark Squad? Jake here at Universal's Islands of Adventure, and we're gonna check out everything that's new inside of the park. So, let's dive right in. First thing we see as we walk in is that Haggard's Magical Motorbike Adventure it is closed for refurbishment. Beautiful weather out here today. Now this isn't exactly new, but it is still interesting. These two poles here used to connect like that, but for some reason they cut the top part off and now they themed it to be two little flowers. This is the entrance to Seuss Landing, so the big archway is gone and it's now two stubs. It is springtime and we can see that the horticulture team has planted some flowers here at Miguelliot's pool. Now this is awesome because if you take a coin and throw it into the fish's mouth, the fish will actually spray water right back at you. This yellow tree here, it springs not too often, maybe once a year, and it creates some amazing yellow flowers. Check that out right here next to the cat in the hat. The roof of the Caro Susel, the carousel here in Seuss Landing, was recently refurbished, and it all looks great. There's bright colors, all the characters are moving. Looks really nice. Leaving Seuss Landing, heading into the Lost Continent, there's another sign here about Hagrid's not being open. They are very adamant about making sure everybody knows Hagrid's is closed. Over here at Poseidon's Fury, we can see that the uh, water features and the fire features are not on, but there is mist on down here. Here we can see there's mist it's coming out of right there. It's a very cool effect. Here we can see the Haggard ride all closed up for refurbishment. <laughs> We are outside of the Velocicoaster where the big story here is that they recently added express passes to the attraction. This ride opened and it did not take express passes up until last week. So uh, if you have express, you can now use it at the Velocicoaster. So this is interesting. This area next to the Jurassic Park pizza place is usually blocked off. It's just, it used to be a guest area, but uh, it is blocked off now, but now it's open for extra seating. And that extra seating is located next to the Pizza Predatoria. Today is a perfect day to cool down on Dudley Do Right's Ripsaw Falls. It is really hot out and really sunny. Popeyes and Bluda's Bilge Wrap Barges is closed for its annual refurbishment. Should be back open before the big summer season. Over here in Marvel Superhero Island, this little tree has been placed inside of a box. Ah, they recently put down new rubber here. Looks quite nice. A little known fact here, or it might be a little unknown fact. This platform right here that says H on it next to the Hulk, that's actually a elevator. So this thing raises up, they could drive a car onto it and then it lowers down. That way they could service the roller coaster down here. In front of the Hulk here, we can see that Mardi Gras has invaded Island of Adventure. They have a few Mardi Gras food booths like this one here set up at Port of Entry. And now as we exit the park, let's check out the Islands of Adventure Trading Company store. This is like the studio store, but at Islands. Check out this super cool hot air balloon right here in the middle of the store. There's even somebody inside of the balloon. Hello. Check this guy out, $18. It's a souvenir Jurassic Park dinosaur sipper. That is really freaking cool. And for $200, you could build the Jurassic World Velocicoaster train out of wood. This pin right here is one of the only Islands of Adventure pieces of merchandise that they offer. This is a pin of the Islands of Adventure logo and it costs $12.
Now this is awesome. They have Woody Woodpecker holding an American flag and the Universal Studios logo. This one goes for $8. One final update before we head out of here. Right here on the ground, you can see these markings. There used to be a postal box here, like a mailbox, and you used to be able to buy postcards at the gift shop we were just in, and you can mail them out to your friends right here from this mailbox, but it was recently removed. Maybe it'll be back. It was a very cool looking mailbox, but as of now, the mailbox is not here. That's going to conclude this Island of Adventure park update. There wasn't a ton to see, but there definitely were some changes. So uh, if you enjoyed, please drop a comment. And if you like us enough, hit that like button. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.